A man that have multiple wives is not out here trying to show everybody who he got. I wanna show you all, cause you looking so fine. A man who have multiple wives is not prancing around the internet posting a thousand pictures with women. That is just unethical, it's not cool, and it shows that that man is immature. Because as a man, you're supposed to protect the image of your wives. Do you really think I'm gonna bring my woman on camera, bro? I'm a man. Men don't bring women on cameras, bro. Get into the camera so people can see you, so you can be a part of the background. Bro, we, we gotta sit down and have a conversation about this, fam, before we start cooking. Bro, you don't bring your woman, bro. So now the question is, wait a minute, two women gave birth at the same similar around the same time. So you got one that just gave birth and then you have another one on her way to give birth. This brother going to need to have a lot of money. You're going to need some, some serious donations right now. Wow. You're going to have to push out like 10 videos a day <laughs> because that's a lot of cribs, a lot of strollers. That's a lot of content. But now, more space. Hmm? More space. oh yeah, he's going to definitely need some living space. Definitely. But now, besides all the jokes, right? <laughs> What I want to focus on here, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Why is it that he didn't show this woman and be proud? Because in the video, he never said, that's my wife. He said, the mother. The, no, he, he kind of labeled her as like a, a woman who is just a woman that got pregnant. He didn't label it as if though, like this is like a woman in whom he, he'd been with or anything like that. Well, you tell me, y'all Negroes believe in polygyny. So if you practice polygyny, according to your logic, the Jamaican woman, he can just claim as a concubine. We're going to respond to a few clips and then I'll read some of your comments. But New Breed does need to respond to this information from Ringo TV because he's accusing you of prompting UP Farms so that you can support new additions to the family. And basically he's saying that your intentions are not legit. You're just in a lot of debt and you need to feed your family, even if it's at the expense of the people. He already fainted because he already done evil in the sight of God. And it's hypocritical to even quote or even utter these words when you've done so much wickedness to Brother Brainwaves, to Rallo, to Ethereal, to Karatazar. He made a fake apology to Karatazar. He cursed my bloodline, my family, disrespected my children, disrespected my wife, disrespected my home. Dude, you're making more a big deal about this because you don't put as much time into your content. The failure and hypocrisy of this UP Farms ordeal is an open book. Okay, there's so much that you can talk about in your videos, but I mean, you do what you do. I understand you're trying to rush to get out as many videos as you can, but you're not as thorough as you think. Okay, your content sucks. Okay, the people need to hear the truth about UP Farms. Already, before he puts more on your shoulder. All of that is BS, ladies and gentlemen. You ain't gonna have a damn thing in this life if you ain't working. You understand? Everything that he's feeding you is pure BS. I'm just, I'm just being, being straight with you. If you don't go out, get a job, have any sort of way to make money, do anything to prosper yourself, ain't nothing going to happen. If I don't make content or make videos to earn, the most high ain't giving me nothing. You understand? That's just the way it is. But there's a problem. The devil has gave you something. You're under satanic employment. And you do not carry your weight of the gospel. We know the scriptures say that Satan comes immediately for the word's sake. But if you got no word, he's not stuttering you. Okay. I've talked about common grace and saving grace. Your hard work for the kingdom of Satan does not earn you saving grace to inherit the kingdom of God. Hard work for the devil falls under common grace because the sun rises and sets on the just and the unjust. 
if I would have said that, I would be crucified on YouTube. Yeah. They would literally, they would literally report me and saying that I'm abusing children. Yeah. But it's okay for New Breed to do that. It's okay for New Breed to hate black children, daughters, black girls, and get away with it. And nobody question him or hold him accountable. Nah, buddy. You're gaslighting. What he said was not as evil as you're making it out to be. He said that, implying that you reap what you sow. But he should have just added context to what he said because you are on record calling R. Kelly a G. So if you are going through cancer, God gave it to you. Mm -hmm. you're if you're able to get through it. So explain that to my mom who died of cancer. Are you saying God gave her that to test her faith? No, he did not. But this is what religious people will do to you. It's, it's, They'll tell you these things. It's based on people's choices and decisions. Right, people's choices, people decisions. And my mom, she lived a certain lifestyle, she ate certain foods, she did cert certain things, and it caught up with her. All men die. Death is a curse. I talked about the five major curses in previous videos, but you don't study the scriptures on that level, so what's the point? So that refers to the scripture, they that uh, suffer can endure to the end, like, you know, that religious... No, quote. that's he that endures to the, the end, end shall, shall be, be saved. saved. This is totally different. Oh, okay. This is called a suffering, men a suffering ministry mentality. This is literally evil. Because what they're basically telling you is that well, suffering, suffering and going through hell and hot waters makes you uh, more holy and righteous before God. So if that's the case, all of our people that have been through the transatlantic slave trade, I guess that makes them more righteous. I think I got mixed up. I think it was um, the scripture about persecution. But it, who's getting persecuted if they're not preaching the gospel? But in reference to the, what he's saying. Nobody today is being persecuted. Oh, okay. Nobody that is alive right now is being persecuted. Because those who got persecuted were those that preached the gospel. Okay. The scriptures say, many are the afflictions of the righteous, sir. Let me, let me get the mic. Watch this, guys. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. That's what the Bible says. All that means is the Most High is not responsible for the woes in your life, which causes sorrow, hypocrite. But let's get to these comments. At Roxanne, I am awake, says Ringo said in his last live stream, in his comment section, Jesus Christ is not to be worshipped as God. Right. And I marvel at how many brothers do not believe Jesus Christ is God, because these are the layups in the scriptures. The blood of Jesus is the lifeblood that he gave of himself when he created Adam. This is how the shedding of Christ's blood is applicable for the remission of sins. Roxanne, you said you rebuked him also. Yeah, <laughs> he needs to be rebuked and he needs to repent. Okay, but thanks for that information. It was good to see you do that on your own because it was the right thing to do. Okay, you the people, you guys need to hold these clowns accountable on their false doctrine. Thank you for that. At Peace of Bleep says, Karadazar said Jesus Christ is God in his last life. Yeah, thanks for that information also. I went back and I watched the clip of uh, the timestamp you gave, uh, 2 minutes 47 mark. Yeah, shout out to Karadazar for teaching the truth that Jesus Christ is God. I haven't reviewed any of his other doctrine, but at least he's right about that. Uh, thanks for that information. At Mac Dividends says, Ringworm has publicly confessed with his mouth that Jesus wasn't conceived by the Holy Spirit and that Joseph is the father of Jesus, this makes him 100% hellbound. Yeah, I agree. For him to say that Joseph had sex with Mary to produce Christ is a damnable heresy because Joseph had traces of sin in his seed line. In the book of Luke chapter 3, 
verse 23 through through 38, it unveils the genealogy of Christ. And in verse 23, it says it was supposed that Christ was the son of Joseph. Okay, it says that for a reason, meaning they put the word out there that Christ was the son of Joseph so that there wouldn't be any shame on Mary's name because Christ was born of the Holy Spirit. And they knew that carnal men wouldn't believe that. Even Joseph struggled to believe that. Okay, verse 38 concludes saying that Adam is the son of God. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45, it says the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. So Christ is the greater Adam, and he's also the son of God. But in John 3.16, it says God gave his only begotten son. Okay, how was Christ his only begotten son when it also says that Adam was the son of God? And this is how you know that Jesus Christ is God. This is proven that Jesus Christ manifested himself or he pierced to the division of soul and spirit according to Hebrews 4.12 so that he was able to elude the bloodline of Joseph, the seed line of Joseph and David because he is the God DNA which initiated life into the first man, Adam. Okay, so... God giving his only begotten is him giving himself. He gave man a piece of himself. So it is God's DNA that sustains the bloodline of men. So Christ is the son of David because David's lineage was launched unhinged by the God DNA. Okay. He had a higher concentration of the God DNA in his bloodline. But Christ is related through Mary, who was only a vessel because she was a virgin. That's how he's attached also to the seed line of David. Okay. I've also done a playlist titled Jesus Christ is God. All right. At W. Spivey says, will you make a reaction about Diddy? Well, there is a connection with Diddy. Sonia Massey, Sean Grayson, Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, and also Sandra Bland. Uh, four years ago, I did a video series titled The Trump Trap. Okay, I did a four-part series. So I got a pull receipts from that video series to complete the project so that I'm not doing anything halfway, okay? Because I don't do things halfway, uh, which brings me to my next point. But uh, look, guys, this channel is not partnered with YouTube, which is why you never see my message interrupted with their frivolous commercials. The Most High has gifted me to produce phenomenal A1 content with substance. Okay, I'm knowledgeable and skilled in the scriptures. I make my own thumbnails. I do my own video editing. I do my own research, narration, writing. Uh, which has taken thousands of hours in addition to my seven years studying in depth in the scriptures. Okay. I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm just being transparent with you. I'm not partnered with YouTube. So the, those of you who've already supported me, I appreciate you. I encourage everyone to support truth. Go to my cash app, dollar sign fates gates 33. The scriptures say the harvest is truly plentiful, but the laborers are few. Okay. Thank you so much for your support. All right. Next comment. At Mondo Estevez says, pretty soon Ringo going to get humble because when YouTube checks stop coming, he going to get on here crying for help. Yeah, he's under satanic employment, um, but I'm opening a forum in the comments so that you guys can let me know what would you describe as satanic employment okay because again there are a lot of false prophets out here they're working for the kingdom of satan and they don't care two cents about conveying to you the truth okay next comment at kitty k lovely 
says, I have unsubscribed from Dow, Ringo, and Newbury. They are no better than slave owners of the past. And at King James Mayo says, Facts 100. Yeah, it's good to see you unsubscribe. That's a good step. Okay, these guys, they're cowards and they're hypocrites. I challenged them on the false doctrine of polygyny and they just kept deflecting and running. This is why I enjoy making a mockery of them. You know, sometimes you just got to laugh at that devil, these demons. Okay. At Infinite Love says, new greed switching up so much. It's a shame. Desperate for a dollar. One big mockery of the scriptures. Yeah, I understand he has a family to feed, but not at the people's expense and not at the peril of the wrath of God. You see what I'm saying? But the scriptures say that because the sentence is not expedited immediately, man is fully set in his heart to commit wickedness. And this is why I've compared new greed to the late Elijah Muhammad. Okay, Elijah Muhammad had all these baby mamas and stuff, and he also established Muhammad Farms, okay, so that he could finesse the people out of their money. Okay, what New Greed is doing is no different. So I agree with you, you know, but it's people like you, we need more people like you who discern false prophets and contribute to rightly dividing the word of truth and also supporting truth, okay? At Kelly Moss says, smash the likes, fam. Another great breakdown, 100. I thank you for what you do. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you for uh, encouraging people to like the videos. I encourage you to also, any questions you have about rightly dividing the word of truth, let me know in the comments. You know, I love to talk about the word of God. You know, I love his word. And I love hearing people learn about his word. Last one, Ed Ruben Hernandez says, don't let your flesh write checks. Your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the Holy Spirit gave me that inspiration. Uh, hell is not nothing to play with. You know, the lake of fire is eternal. A lot of these Hebrew Israelite brothers are teaching that, you know, it's the nuclear missiles that's just going to blow things up. That's annihilationism. Okay. There won't be no being destroyed and ceasing to exist. No, the soul lives for eternity and this flesh is a temporary meat suit. Okay, it has an expiration date. Once this heart stops beating, okay, you'll never ever see this flesh again. All right, and the soul will live on for eternity. Either you'll go to heaven or to hell for all eternity. All right, but the devil has many schemes out there teaching a lot of false doctrines. If he can't get a lot of people to be led astray by the doctrine itself, he'll have them be led astray by something like once saved, always saved, or the term periods for heaven and hell. Okay, that's why it's important that we, as the body of Christ, those of you who subscribe, to Jesus Christ being God, that we discuss these matters in this forum and rightly divide the word of truth. All right. So that's all I have for this video. Let me know your thoughts and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.